Alright, I am back for match two between University of Central Florida and Dalhousie University. Um, I'm not gonna miss any bands or picks this time because I started with everyone else and I wasn't stupid. Oh my, okay. The Wisp band goes down again from University of Central Florida. I think they just don't know how to deal with that hero. I haven't seen Wisp band or pick that often. Tidehunter got a good band from Tahoe's University, the Tidehunter band. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a TA band. There's gotta be a TA band because I just see her band picked all over the place. And um, Batrider is really strong right now. I'm I don't really know. I was actually always under the impression that Batrider wasn't that good, but oh, the Undying band comes down from University of Central Florida. And so, Dark Seer band. A lot of bands um, of the heroes that were played last game. So, it's really interesting uh, to see who the teams are going to pick this time. Oh, the Bat Rider pick because he did not get a ban. And so, Dahui's University can't pick Templar Assassin now because I learned yesterday that Bat Rider just completely counters Templar Assassin. Like, he's really good against Templar Assassin. So, we can't really do anything. I'm not sure who they're gonna pick. Ooh, look, did you, do you see the Dalhuis University, uh, picture? His, his, his profile picture is like the little, like, death coil thingy from, like, Warcraft, right? It's the death coil, like, from the original, like, yeah! Okay, I recognize that. Okay, I'm sorry. Rubik gets picked again. Good pick. Um, I didn't really see much Rubik, like... Oh, I love Venomancer. He's one of my favorite heroes. He's really, like, he looks adorable, and, um... He was, like, the second hero I ever picked up, because my first hero was Visage, and I, I really enjoy playing Visage, and, um... I don't think I'm half bad at Visage, but to be honest, Venomancer was just so much easier to play, and so much more, like, you know... So much more fitting into team comps, and, um... All around, really great hero for me as a new player to Dota 2. Oh, the picks are going down quick. Chikiro, Leshrac, Bounty Hunter. It's really interesting how Dahuiz is picking up the Bounty Hunter this time because I believe Bounty Hunter was on UCF. Uh, I don't actually know. I think they might have switched sides. Wait. Um. <laughs> actually, I think Dahuiz did have the Bounty Hunter. If I remember correctly. But whatever, Bounty Hunter is picked again in this game, and um, from UCF we're seeing a lot of just standard, really strong picks. That Rider, Chikira, Lushrak. Like I played Lushrak for the first time, and like he, I love his model. I love everything about him. I love the way he goes clippity cloppity when he runs, and that hero is amazing. Um, so we're waiting for the ban, third ban on Dahuis or not Dahuis, UCF, and I'm just gonna. <sighs> Check something right here. Mm. Okay. Radiant team back. Oh, Enigma ban. Chaos Knight. Two good bands. Good bands. Nothing different from last time. Lone Droid. That's Dota Lone Droid, right? Back. Lone Droid, that band. Okay. Um. I'm sure if you guys are watching, you guys can you guys can rationalize by yourselves why these bands are really good. I know they're good because of certain abilities, and I know they're good against like you know target bands and just all around like you know because Tide Hunter has Ravage, Chaos Knight is just a motherfucker, and like Enigma just black hole right. I don't know anything about Lone Three. I've heard that he is like a very like he's least like he's less picked, but he's actually very strong in the right like team composition and stuff. But I just never have seen him play. Um, the only band I don't really understand is Wisp, because I just I've never seen Wisp played yet. So I just know that Wisp has this little circley thingy that has like fairies around him or something, and it like hurts really badly. Is that's a Tinker Man. 
I have a Night Stalker band. Good bands. I can see how every hero is annoying, and so I think everything is a good band. Because at this point, I think every hero is just... I mean, there there's a reason to ban, I mean, a lot of people. But you only have so many bands, right? So... So now we're just waiting on this last band. Ten seconds remaining. This is exciting, guys. This Five is really exciting. Remaining. Um. <laughs> Reserve time. <laughs> And what's good this last thing gonna be? Oh! Faceless Void again! Radiant team pick. Wait, I don't understand! Somebody, somebody, somebody message me in chat, please, and like, please tell me why they're banning Faceless Void. I know he has, like, what is his old, the Chronosphere or whatever, and it like, freezes everybody, and he just like, takes somebody out, but like, I've never seen him like, ban your, like, not even pick that often. Somebody please message me in the Twitch chat, and... Yeah, Ten thanks. Seconds. Ten seconds remaining. I'll look at that later. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Alright, um, I'm waiting for the pits. Alright. They're really taking their time. I mean, I don't think... This is really exciting. I really... I'm really excited to see uh, Leshrac play, because I really... Um, I really enjoyed playing Leshrac, and... I was not bad, not bad. At, um, he's he's really fragile, but I'm excited to see people who actually know what they're doing play last track because I really want to see. Ooh, Dragon Knight! He's the guy who turns into the big scary dragon. I I got this. Um, Puck! Oh man, this is a game that you do not want to miss because you will have me. You will have me casting Puck. I don't know if you know, I don't, I kind of know what Puck does, not really, but if you've ever seen Puck being played, you will know, like, me casting Puck is going to be disaster. <laughs> oh god. But Puck is one of, one of the heroes that I've actually, I've actually been interested in for a long Ten time. I don't see him played very well that often. I actually watched, um, Korok play a couple remain. games of Puck, and he's Science really, really great. Me. Really great plays. Alright, so UCF's final lineup is Batrider, Jakiro, Leshrac, Dragon Knight, and Sven. Sven picks have actually been pretty common in the league so far. I've actually seen Sven picks go down quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna just say Batrider is going to be mid. He's he's very he's just I don't think anybody else is gonna go mid. Um I'm not actually sure about the lanes. I think Jakiro is just gonna go. Are they gonna do a tri lane? Tri lane. I don't know. Sven Leshrac Jakiro. Oh my god. Is that a Meepo? That's a Meepo. Holy shit, it's a Meepo. Dude, this team. Ripic Venomancer, Bounty Hunter, Puck Meepo. Dude, I'm so excited, okay? You have no idea. Like, what is this? Oh my god. I'm just, I'm really excited, guys. Uh, you have no idea, okay? All right, all right, all right. So, Dalhousie University, we have John the Ninja on Bounty Hunter again. Yes, Bounty Hunter, same Bounty Hunter pick. John the Ninja, I remember. Oh, PK man. Fire is on Venomancer. Richard is playing Meepo. Ryer is playing Puck, and Joel is playing Rubik. And uh, for UCF, Syragar is playing Sven with a really cool helmet. Um. Raven 191 on Jakiro, I believe, again. Ooh, the little courier is really cute. It's a mountain yet. Okay, Great Day is on the Leshrac. No Snitchin is on Dragon Knight. And a White Fox is on Bat Rider. Dude, I want to see their courier now. Oh, you got the baby Roshan courier? Oh, you're so cute. Look at me. Okay. Meepo is going to. Oh, smoke. That's smoke, right? 
that's that's smoke, right? That's smoke. <laughs> what are they doing? I guess they're gonna camp here, and then they're gonna win. Dragonite is gonna go mid. Bat Rider, yeah, Dragonite is gonna go mid apparently, and Bat Rider is going to go into the bot lane for Radiant. Looks like Nepo is going top for the Dire, and if they're wow, they just smoked, and they just are hanging out here. The battle begins. They're just hanging out. Um. Dragon is gonna pick up double damage and they see Bat Rider bottom. They're all hanging out kinda here. I think they're trying to get a drop on Dragon Knight. They're gonna try to do some harass to him, I think. Not actually sure. Bounty Hunter is gonna soul its lane. Bat Rider puts on observer ward. Standard play, ward, ward. Yeah, they're gonna try to they're gonna try to get the drop on this Dragon Knight. Oh, they're gonna do it! First blood from Dahui's University is Rubik. Wow. That's smoke strategy, man. Oh, they're gonna get the drop on this Meepo. They're gonna get the drop on this Meepo. I would be surprised if they don't get the drop on the Meepo. Oh my god, is the Meepo gonna get away? Oh the Meepo is going to Oh the ice path goes down. Dude, Meepo actually almost killed Sven. Venomance is going to pick up the kill. Meepo is going to die to Leshrac, but they do have Venomance and Rubik here trying to pick up this Leshrac. Are they going to do it? Venomous Gale goes down. Yes, get a double kill. Defensive Ice Path going down, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. They're going to chase. They're going to chase. Rubik is just going to auto attack. I don't think they're going to pick up this kill because somebody's going to TP back. Leshrac is going to TP back. Defensive Ice Path, they're going to give up the chase. Let's look at how Puck is doing against Dragon Knight mid. Puck's doing alright. I mean, six last hits, three last hits. Puck's doing alright. Um. Alright. That was really exciting. I mean, more happened there than happened, like, first 20 minutes of the last game. Bounty Hunter is doing alright. He has five last hits to six. Wow, what has Bad Rider been doing? I guess it's just been pushed to his tower in. Bad Rider's not harassing that much. Um, oh, exciting things going down. Three, it's three versus... Yeah, it's three versus three, I guess. Some heroes. It's... Ooh, ooh. Try lane, try lane, like... This is really exciting. This is Rubik, Venomancer, Meepo, try lane. Puff gets a haste room from down there. I don't think anything has spawned right there yet, quite yet. Because Dragon Knight picked up the beginning of the game. Oh, he's doing this exciting pulling thing right now, and Meepo's gonna Meepo's gonna take because Meepo needs it. I really like the sound that Meepo makes with his little hammer. I really do. I really like his voice too. All right, they're pushed to their tower. Uh, they can't really do anything. Um, Pink goes down from purple and telling him to go over there. Back up. So, Epo, six last hits, then three. Shakira's hanging out here, try to prevent the answer from getting more control of the forest. Do you think wow, 16 goals. Wow, those wars give a lot. I, I never realized. I thought they gave a lot. So I think they changed that in recent patch. Okay, so, bottom lane is exciting. It is really exciting. Rest, but I know I'm back later. Not doing too bad. 12 last hits to 12. This guy hunt is pretty impressive by my standards. Oh, little bubble, bubble, bubble thingy going down from Puck that does, does a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, where did he go? Oh, he has a little shift thingy, right? Face shift, yeah. He, he does that to avoid harm. <laughs> Alright, popping a bottle, popping a bottle. Little bubble thing. I believe you could teleport anywhere onto that bubble thing. Um, really exciting pulling from Rubric here. Like, man, these neutral creeps are just getting. Yeah, I mean, they're getting pulled all day. And yeah, it's truly exciting. Sentry. Ooh, ooh. 
Okay. Okay. Alright, so... Nepo just did doing alright. Um, this is really exciting. I really, really like Nepo. Alright. Zaven is 8. Plus hits to... Uh, I can't click on the Nepo apparently. He's like a creep. Um, 8. Bottom lane is... This bounty hunt is really impressive. He's actually gonna go in for some harass. And he's gonna back off. Oh, wow, he just threw shit. He threw his shuriken pot. He's gonna track. He's gonna lay some more tar. Sticky napalm. And, um. I think this bounty hunter is really impressive. He's. He's. He's impressing me, at least. I would never. I, I wouldn't really survive this lane. I would just basically shadow walk, try to avoid anything. I would just not be bald enough to go for last hits, but he's being very shy. Oh my god, I'm missing all the action. Leshrac just killed Venomancer. So. Rubik is gonna fall too. I mean, he kills Leshrac. I guess Venomancer's ward got it? But he's killed. Oh man. This Meepo is. Oh no, Venom Master's alive. Oh. Yeah, this. Oh, I thought Meepo was screwed, but I guess Shakira was screwed. Alright, here's, here's the last track. Last track, and. Who's that? Puck. Puck comes up here. I don't know if they didn't try to kill him right then and there, but I guess they wouldn't have wanted to go in. So it is now Meepo, Venomancer, Puck and Rubik on top, although Puck is heading back to mid lane. So is Dragon Knight. Bounty Hunter is just chilling. And they are just. Things have gone back to chilling. Chilling status. That will be that will be my word for everybody is just farming and stuff. It's chilling status. They've just gone back to chilling. Alright, let's look at net worth because everybody knows I'm obsessed with this graph. You shall not. Bounty Hunter picks up. He picked up the double damage, he just bottled it. Okay, that's cool. And he's gonna try to get the drop in Batrider, I guess. Oh. I don't know. Batrider knows? What is he doing? He's just staying near his tower. I think he knows. Oh, no, he doesn't. He wanted to wait until the track ran out. Oh, Bounty Hunter's gonna go for this. Bounty Hunter is absolutely gonna go for that. Really good. Really great. Great, great, great. Amazing. I did not know that the shuriken did that much damage, but I guess he does have a double damage. So, mid lane. It's chillin'. It appears the Dragon Knight has the upper hand against Puck. It's 27 to 30 last hits. Actually, no. Dragon Knight just has... Oh, he's going in for some stun harass. Oh, the poor Puck. Puck is squishy, man. Puck is, Puck is squishy. This little, this little fairy dragon is... Just... Poor little fairy dragon. Alright. Oh, Meepo hit 6. Did Meepo hit 6? Yeah! Look, look, there's an Amiibo! Oh, it's so cute! It's like multiple Meepos. Like, all these Meepos. Like, Meepo, Meepo. Meepo's gonna go to another lane. So up XP and stuff. I don't know. Oh, he's just taking jump. Okay, this is really cool. This is really interesting. This is the first time I've seen Meepo being actively played. I actually played him in a practice match once. My friend played him in a practice match, and I just kind of saw how he was. The Scrubic is so screwed. Oh, the poor thing. Oh, oh, actually, Jakiro's Jakiro's chasing, but the Rubik's not gonna die. Oh wow. Okay. They didn't put on enough damage to him. Okay, everybody's running on top. Oh, this poor thing. Oh, the puck is gonna puck. Run the fuck out of there, please. Okay. Oh! Exciting plays, guys. Really exciting plays. Bounty Hunter is just chillin'. Bounty Hunter is getting farmed. He's chillin'. He's, he's gonna be pretty, pretty scary. He's going for phase boots, so he's... I guess he's just building. This is standard bounty hunter build. I'm gonna get face boots. Gonna get. I don't know a bounty hunter. I I mean I built blood on him, but that was probably a bad idea. Cause I mean I he might go for blood. 
though, but you only, I mean, I feel like, yeah, Vlad's is only useful if you do a ton of damage. I'm not sure if this bounty hunter is going that route. Maybe not. Alright, ping's going down, line's going down, this is just drawings on the map. And I, I can foresee big play happening. Big plays are happening. Big plays are gonna happen. They're gonna, they're gonna catch this Meepo at his, at his little camp. Are they? No, they're not. They're just going to go for Meepo here. Meepo's going to run away with the other Meepo! Because he's scared and Venomancer is just gonna be left to die. He's just like, well, you know, buddy bye. And then Venomancer's gonna try to TP out. Is he? Is he? No, because he doesn't have any TPs on him! Oh ho ho! Hey, they just backed off. Okay. I was really excited for a moment. Oh my god, Venomancer, why are you still there? What are you- Oh, he blocked himself with the plague ward! He body blocked himself with the plague ward! Oh my gosh, PK Fire from Dahui's University. Venomancer, you poor thing, you blocked yourself with the plague ward. I mean, I guess he did it so other people couldn't go in, but now he's he's blocked out until this plague ward expires in five seconds. All right, uh, that was really interesting. That was really interesting. I I mean, I guess he did it because like you know they couldn't get in after him because he didn't have TP. He knew, and so I guess it's better to block yourself in and stuff um, instead of dying. So that was actually probably a really good play. Probably a really good play. John the Ninja's up here. Bounty Hunter track goes down. He's gonna shadow walk. They're gonna try to get the drop on somebody. He's gonna he's gonna hit Jakira. He's gonna hit Jakira. He's definitely gonna hit Jakira, and he's gonna shuriken. Is he? No. Oh yeah, he is. No, 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 no. He's gonna hit left track. Right, Jakira. Where is he? Oh, he died. That's Bounty Hunter. Why did Bounty Hunter die? Oh, Dragon Knight is up here. Oh my god, this big scary thing. I thought it was like, oh god, that's a really big model. That's huge. Bad Rider's making like a heart. <laughs> okay. So that did not turn out that well for Dahoo's University. Meepo is Meepoing it up. Yeah, boy. Meepo's just Meepoing it up. 36 last hits. Let me look at their last hits because that's the other graph that I really like. Bounty Hunter. Impressive, as I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I don't know how he got so many last hits in that way. Um, he's doing really well. Uh, Dragon Knight did really well. Puck's not too far behind. Radiant. Yes, the first tower of the game, I believe. Yes, it is the first tower of the game. It goes to UCF. And they are just going to push. Puck bottle regeneration, but they are just going to push. They're just going to push the lanes, and I, what if it can't do anything about it? Um, I don't think that these three people could do anything about it. They need a bounty hunter. Oh, Meepo misses his net. Meepo misses his net. Oh, this Meepo is so dead. So dead. Such a dead Meepo. Puck tries to come and help. Uh, this Puck is so dead. Oh, the poor thing, and then they're... They can't... These two can't really do anything. Um, Puck just bought back. Bought back. Good buyback. But I don't think they're gonna be able to do anything against these people. Um, Rubik... Just, I don't think Rubik has the... He neither has the survivability to take shot. Oh! John the Ninja's up here. Body Hunter's up here. She's about to get real now. Rubik's gonna fall, Rubik's gonna fall, Batrider is gonna fall. Meepo is here. Meepo and Bounty Hunter are here. They are going to wreck things. Triple kill from John the Ninja. What am I telling you? This Bounty Hunter. This Bounty Hunter. Absolutely impressive Bounty Hunter to me. Check out the net worth after that fight. Definitely Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter me both. Those two? Bounty Hunter should just take it. I think Bounty Hunter should just take it. There we go. He battled it. Um, there's Sport. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could do that. That's really cool, actually. I, I really should learn that a little more often. It's just really cool. Damn. I mean, 
I'm learning things, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I'm learning things. So, um, Rubik left Rex, transition bottom. They're both kind of weak, and they're both just chilling. Um, Venomancer. Bounty Hunter is gonna just go back bot lane, I think. Um, they're chilling. Everybody's chilling. Everybody's chilling. Meepo, farming up. Ooh, Sentry Ward here. I don't know the vision on the Sentry Ward. I don't think you can see this one. Meepo farming up like a boss. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yep, Meepo's farming up a boss. See, I don't know why people. Oh, I guess people use, like, you know, you could switch from power turns and stuff, like. I always wanted to switch to the one that my hero was, you know, primary attribute, but I guess, um, you don't have to do that, and there are instances where you don't, and I'm not, I, I, I haven't, I don't actually know anything about that instance. So, pings are going down. Bounty Hunter is gonna come over, be really ballsy, because the Shadow Walk is right about to end. And he's going to. Yeah, oh, his Shadow Walk ended. His Shadow Walk just. They know he's here. I think they're going to get the drop on Bounty Hunter. They are definitely going to get the drop on them. Yep. I don't know. That wasn't a very. That wasn't a very good move on him. They knew they were. He was there. And. Let me. Let me see just items and Where is the shit for items? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Mm. Bounty Hunter is just going we Shadow Blade. Okay. It's cool. Dragonite has dust. Oh, they're gonna do some crazy ass dust shit. This is gonna be exciting. Alright. So, Sven just killed Venomancer. They're gonna kill Rubik. I mean, those two are just Ready definitely not strong enough to you know, do any sort of, I mean, like, look at them, they're not even, like, you know, no real damage. I think Venomance or Rubik is just, um, both of them just aren't strong enough to deal with, like, if they get caught out or deal with anybody, they can't really defend power, they're just gonna push this. Last track is gonna take a little bit. This tower's gonna go down really fast. So this looks, this looks like a really, really good turnaround match for UCF, actually. Um. Yo! He's gonna get hit, he's gonna get tracked, Bounty Hunter's gonna go for it. Uh, he's gonna try to, I guess, I don't know, he's gonna try TP out or something, but I don't think he can. He's gonna die. Look at Meepo, man. Meepo is just meepo and it up. Meepo is meepo and it up. He's, he's, he's got the highest net worth right now next to the first bounty hunter. Definitely bounty hunter. But Meepo is meepo and it up. Meepo is doing a very good job. I expect big plays from Meepo. I expect big plays from Meepo. <sighs> track goes down on less track. Good track. There's such a tree word right there. I think they know. Because. I think they know there's some people there. This bounty hunter just doesn't want to go into the area. He goes down from Orin. Alright, so Meepo is pushing. He's in lane. Meepo is farming up. Where are the other Meepos? Where are the mother Meepos at? Oh, they're all here. Okay. Alright, so the entire team gathers up here. And um, Puck is just farming. Meepo's just farming. Venomancer is warding up. Is under Bounty Hunter is going into scout track. They are smoked. Smoke. Smoke goes down. Dragonite pops the smoke, and they're going to do something really exciting here. They're going to do something really exciting. They're going to kill this Meepo. They've decided they're gonna they're gonna get they're they're gonna get the drop on this this little poor thing. Oh, they all come out of smoke and this poor Meepo. He oh he blinks and they don't know where he goes. Really good play from Meepo. They just decided to check that bush, but he already poofed out. It is too late. Oh, that smoke game. That 
That meat that escape was really exciting. It was really good. Really good. From Richard. Structures are Amazing. I mean, this is really exciting for me. I That was really Radiant exciting. Fire. Bounty Hunter gets a tower. He's like AFK Radiant down here. Holy attack. shit. Oh, he has regeneration too. Oh man, what a boss. What a boss. Just amazing. Alright, they're gonna... Puck and Rubik are gonna take down this tower like, buddy, buddies. They're all gonna go up here now because they need to defend this tower because they're all gonna push. Okay, um, everybody needs to be up there right now. If they're gonna defend this, everybody needs to be up there. I think Rubik, Rubik's gonna head up, Bounty Hunter's gonna go out. This is gonna be real 5 man Dota, guys. 5 man Dota coming up. Uh, John the Ninja is just chilling, chilling. Oh my God, Shadow Walk, Shadow Walk, what are you doing? Okay, he just tracks Shadow Walk. I guess that's that's cool too. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's chilling, chilling, chilling. Meepo's chilling. I mean, look at all the chills. This team is chill. This team's chill, man. Dragon Knight is chilling too. All right, all the pings are freaking out. Like, Puck is just ping, 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 ping. And like, Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Oh, they used. Oh, he uses. He uses his little dust thingy. This dust thing, dust thing, and he sees bounty hunter. Right, that's the sparkly thing. Bounty hunter buys back. Goodbye, back. They need to defend this tower. They absolutely need to hold this tower, tower if they're going to attack. stay in the game. Because Nepo is, is just AFK pushing bot lane, but they definitely need to defend the tower. Good tracks going down. Um, they can't actually see that ward, so they're gonna come in. They're gonna go in for this. This doesn't look good for- oh my gosh. They all fell like peanut butter. They just fell like- everybody buys back. Everybody bought back. They know they need to defend this tower. Everybody buys back. I don't know if Bounty Hunter can do anything here. He can't. He's gonna fall. They can see him. He doesn't have buyback. Less track just bought back. Sven just bought back. This is really exciting. They're gonna. Oh man, this Meepo. Meepo is on a killing spree. This Meepo is really impressive. I think Meepo Bounty Hunter is definitely, definitely two of the people that have impressed me with their play so far. Um. They all just bought back because they're. Just, oh, this is really exciting. This is absolutely exciting. Let me look at some charts because charts are exciting. Charts are exciting. Um, it's heavily skewed now towards Dire. It it actually popped back up, but it's skewed now towards Dire. And it, it's Radiant had the advantage in gold, but it's skewing now back towards Dire. And let's. Let's take a look at that, and then let's take a look at items. So, Meepo, Big Dagger, Aghanims, pretty standard Meepo play. Um, Mystic Staff, I know what that builds into, but I don't remember at this point. I mean, I... Can I search it up in this? Yeah, oh, I actually can. Mystic Staff, he's gonna go for a side side bias, probably. I don't know anything about Shiva's guard, so he's gonna go for a side side bias. Because that's a that's a sheep thingy, right? You can turn people into sheep. Okay, why? I'm you can turn people into sheep. Then, otherwise, everybody else is building pretty standard. Um, Batrider has gem of true sight. Oh, that is why they can see. They can see bounty hunter. Oh man, look at all the meepos, man! Fucking five meepos. Holy shit! Like, oh god, he's gonna do so much damage when he just poops, and this is gonna be over. Um, Puck is just farming up. Rubik is just scouting. Um, honestly, Rubik should just take it. I, just, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it doesn't really matter if Rubik takes it, Venomaster takes it. I guess Puck can take it. 
I guess that's what their the plan is. Puck is just gonna take the lead. I'm gonna bottle it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Roshan? Oh, okay, so. I think there's just one spot where you can like buy stuff from the secret shop if you go in the way into the Roshan pit. So I think that's just what he did. Let me see. But he didn't pick up anything special. Wait, Meepo is still farming up. Meepo's net worth is just crazy because it's, I mean, it's Meepo, right? So. Nothing surprising there. But definitely Rubik and Venomancer, these two are the weakest right now. Um, they have pretty good utility. Puck Stash is an ultimate orb. Is that what Scythe of Eyes needs? Yeah. He's going for the chibi stick. Radiant's top tower is under it. Alright, Spencer and Rubik from that tower by him. She's gonna hang around. John the Ninja Man. Making them bounty hunter plays. Track gold is the best. Track gold is the best. You know, I'm pretty sure that's why they have a lot of Track gold is amazing. Um. Alright, so Beepo is going to take motion. That's, that's, ooh. Man, uh, give me a sec, I need to. Beepo is gonna take Roshan. And he's gonna take Agonins as well. Or not Agonins, the Aegis of the Immortal. Alright, so Roshan falls. Meepo picks up the Aegis. It's really good because they actually had no idea. They're all chilling up here, like, you know, five man Dota, man. Actually, there's four of them. Where's the last one? I don't know, there's four of them, and I don't know where the last guy is. There's one, two, three, four. Mm. Who am I missing? Am I missing Jack Hero? Or am I missing Jack Hero? Where's Jack? Oh, he's right here. Mm. One, two, three, four. I don't know. Oh no, but oh, he's up here. He's up here. He's up here. This is real five man Dota, guys. This is about to be five man Dota. This is about to be five man Dota. Oh, this poor thing. The poor puck is just going to get melted. Ice path is gonna go down. They can act. They can see bounty hunter because I. They can see bounty hunter because that rider has jump. They're gonna push this tower, and they're gonna get it. Alright, so... Good turnaround game from UCF. Oh, Meepo is coming in for an insane kills. Insane Meepo plays. Oh my gosh. Bennett is gonna miss. Ben oh, Rubik. Really good. Gem of True Sight. They got the gem. They picked it up though. I think they didn't. It did swim. Pick up the gem. Like, God, I'm so bad at this. I guess I just killed it. I guess, I, I, I'm pretty sure you can destroy gems, right? They just destroyed it. John the Ninja coming in to kill this Jack. He's gonna get it. He actually gets split earthed by Lush Rack, but I mean, it's not gonna stop him. Fucking John the Ninja. Okay, Puck got the Puck, Puck got his little little shitty stick. That move is so cool, a little bubble move? It's really awesome. I really want to touch on that. Um. Alright, everybody's just back to chilling. Everybody's just back to chilling. Really, really intense game. At least for me. Really intense game. I hope you guys, you know, don't mind me casting. 
Ooh, that's the Roshan timer, isn't it? Oh, that's so beautiful. Damn, why does the League of Legends have, like, you know, pretty things like this? I don't understand why. John the Ninja gonna track to Sven, track to Sven, track to Sven? No, no, no. no. <laughs> he probably knows that they're all there. Kings are going down. They're gonna teleport. Meepo is just going to murder this tower. Oh, the fortify goes down. Fortify goes down. Meepo. Meepo's gonna die. Meepo's gonna die. Oh, man. He Meepo's gonna die. And Puck is going to die as well. I believe that Puck is screwed. Puck is definitely screwed. Wait! Whoa! Come on, Batrider! Oh, this Puck! This Puck! Oh, this Puck! This Puck! Oh my god! Yo! So good! Dude, Meepo got a double kill! Meepo got a double kill! Meepo's gonna get a triple kill! Right here! Triple kill! Venomancer is gonna die! Meepo is here to just pick up and clean up! Ultra kill! Like, killed after this! Like, killed after this, right? He's not gonna be able to get it, I don't think. Meepo's gonna carry this game hard. But Meepo's not gonna be able to get it. His net's gonna miss, and Batrider is just going to run for his life. Alright, Rubik is actually pushing down bottom tower by himself. And he's going to run away because Batrider can kill him. But that tower is fairly low. I don't think it's in deny range. Cause it's ten percent, right? I can't do math, but I just I I follow my heart, okay? Man, Meepo, look at his net worth. This Meepo, man, unbelievable. Skewing so heavily towards Dire, so heavily towards Dire right now, in terms of difference in gold earned. I'm pretty sure because of that Meepo, XP earned. It is definitely skewing towards Dire. Pause. Okay. I'm gonna go get a drink. I will be back and hopefully the game will be unpaused by the time I get back. I'm back, and I'm getting started again. Alright. So, we were just waiting for Batrider there. He had, like, a momentary disconnect. What I thought was going to be a good turnaround from UCF is actually all skewed towards Dahui's University. They're actually pulling way ahead in XP and gold. Double damage rune here. Mm, Meepo should pick it up. I really want Meepo to pick it up. Meepo is doing so well this game. I am really impressed. Blink Dagger. Oh! This poor thing! BKB pops. But it's not gonna save him. I think Meepo's gonna die. Yeah, Meepo's gonna die. To that Sven. But that was gonna be a good catch. I mean, I think he would've died anyways because Lush Rack and Jakira are here. Venom answers. Still guarding the double damage rune. I think Puck is gonna come bottle it because no. Come on, bros. Bounty hunter, pick it up. Bounty hunter, pick up that rune. Yep, he's gonna go do it. Puck to hold on his own. Bounty hunter bottles it. Absolute. This Meepo's crazy. He's he's double Sven's worth right now. Only look at just last hits. Impressive. Absolutely impressive. XP per minute. Obviously, Meepo's gonna be on top. Current gold. Bounty Hunter's got the most. There's some five man Dota playing here. 
Five Mandota. Leshrac just died. They're gonna chase. I don't think they're gonna turn around. I think that's the particle from Mechanism, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Is that particle right I'm pretty sure that's the particle from Mech. But. They are going to be pushing. They are going to push. And the Venomancer is going to board up. Then the uh, Dragonite's being tracked. Meepo is gonna come and spawn all his little Meepos. Bat Rider is just going to. I don't know what that move is. Firefly! Yeah! It's gonna it's burn trees and everything. Illusion. Puck take the illusion. There we go. We're pushing mad hard right now. Are there items? Lushrak has a smoke. So they're gonna try some cool smoke shit again. And it's gonna be really good. Bounty Hunter when does does a later? Does a later, yeah. The solid item in Bounty Hunter. Great choice. He's going for the damage. He's definitely not going for the black thing I talked about earlier. I remember getting a double later. Okay. So the people that are gonna go down from Puck Puck is just gonna be like, they're all there, they're playing five man Dota. Let's get together. Let's let us let us play five man Dota too. Okay? I think they might they might be gathering around and doing gonna do a smoke play. I think Lashrak is telling them to gather, they're gonna smoke. Dragonite goes ahead and he's like, Oh my god, talking illusion. We're just gonna clear. Meepo's pushing top down hard. Savannah's so gonna go defend, so that means they're not gonna pull off any kind of cool moves Radiant with smoke. Bounty Hunter is going to. Oh, Meepo actually pooped all his Meepos over there, he's gonna run away. Bounty Hunter's pushing bottom, and a Rubik Puck are pushing mid. Venomancer's full doing a good job warding up. They're not gonna be able to push that hard because Dragonite. Um, so many Meepos! Yep, Bounty Hunter got the tower. Slowly inching their way. Very slowly. All the pings going down. Sentry. Let's go to Bounty Hunter trying to back door. The racks, I guess. Those are racks, right? Yes. Bounty Hunter's bottled haste room. They're gonna take rush again because just fun. Great thing on them. They they've got the timer and everything for rush and Meepo's got the Aegis, which is good. Man, I'm really impressed by this Meepo. Absolutely impressed. He's got Reaver. Oh, I know what Reaver builds into, but I will look it up just, just, just to be safe. Yeah, he's probably gonna go for... I don't know if he's gonna go for this. I don't really see this that often, so I'm guessing he's gonna go for this. So an assault curious. Agonim's blink. Standard Meepo builds. I mean he still keeps his power tread on strength, I guess. I mean I guess even though Meepo's an agility hero, um I believe he's agility, yeah. Um strength probably benefits more than strength. I'm not actually sure why people don't change their boots to their primary attribute of their hero, but I guess I don't know enough about this game to have any authority on saying so. So, we tracked. It's really hard to use, um, who's got, Lushrak still has, Lushrak doesn't have, still has the smoke, but it is really hard to smoke, especially when there's a bounty hunter and an enemy team, because I played a game yesterday as bounty hunter, and the enemy team smoked wild tracked. I mean, that's just... no. No. So, I hope they don't make that mistake. They probably won't. Puck, Meepo. Meepo's gonna go in. Meepo's gonna go all the way in. Ice Path is gonna catch all of them. Puck is just going to melt like peanut 
water. Bounty hunter killed last rack. Sven is gonna get a double kill. Bounty hunter bought back. Good buyback. Cause I think they can get the drop on somebody here. I think Bounty Hunter can definitely kill someone. Because Meepo, Meepo's gonna go in. Yep. Bounty Hunter definitely gonna be able to pick out this one. And they're gonna be able to chase Dragon Knight. Track goes down. And then, um, Sven is gonna stun, but that's not gonna be enough. Dragon Knight's gonna go down. Meepo's gonna ultra kill. Really impressive play from this people. I'm really impressed. I've never seen anybody use it that well. All the are gonna go bottom. Oh, I'm back there at the wreck. They're going to do that. Yeah, absolutely impressive. 15 3 3 Meepo. 274 last hits. Now he's just gonna go mid and he's just going to poop in. He's just going to murder people. Double kill. Absolute gold. It's GG. It's GG. Absolutely GG. His wicked sick. This Meepo. This Meepo turned things around. So it is GG for UCF and Dalhousie University is a 2-0 and they advance in the Collegiate Dota 2 League and UCF is officially eliminated. And hi, um, I just wanna, this is, this is Bacon, this is, I'm, I go by CDL Bacon, I'm Bacon from the Collegiate Dota League and this has been quite exciting two matches from UCF and Dalhousie University. Yep. Great, great game. Great game. Victory for Dalhuis. That Meepo. Look at that Meepo. Absolutely impressive Meepo. I'll screenshot this and I will exit because I am going to be done streaming because that is going to be the final game. I will see you guys for hopefully another cast.